Asus Aura RGB Lighting Controller, Game First 4 Network Package Prioritization, Sonic Studio 3 Audio Application, and Sonic Radar 3 Noise Source Locator, for games, are all carried over from other ROG series motherboards, such as the previously tested Strix Z270E. Asus Dual Intelligent Processors 5, DIP5, application is also unchanged from the previous review, and its 5-way optimization automatic overclocking function pushed our Core i7-7700K to 5.0 slash 4.9 GHz, 2 fourths cores loaded, at 1.375 volts, dropping to 1.33 volts under load. Prime 95 crashed before the processor had a chance to reach its 100 degrees Celsius thermal threshold, where it would have forced a lower multiplier. Other DIP5 applications include the previously unmentioned Keybot 2 macro programmer, Asus RAM Cache 2, and Asus RAM Disk. Maximus 9 Hero firmware. This Core i7-7700K sample regularly hits 4.80 GHz at 1.30 volts and the Maximus 9 Hero was no exception. The big news was in DRAM overclocking, where the board blew straight past DDR4-4000 to achieve record-setting overclocks. Various motherboards produce various measured dim voltage levels at various firmware settings. Keeping the measured voltage of G. Skills 1.35 volts rated DDR4-3866 below 1.355 volts gives all motherboards an equal opportunity for an overclocking prize. The Maximus 9 Hero's 1.340 volts stim setting reached just over 1.350 volts measured, though the motherboard reported 1.344 volts. Found within the Maximus 9 Hero's external DG Plus power control menu, CPU load line calibration compensates for reductions of CPU core voltage under load, commonly known as droop. While the board's level 5 settings still allow this CPU's core voltage to sag below the targeted 1.30 volts, its level 6 setting pushed load voltage beyond baseline voltage dropping the motherboard's baseline voltage to 1.295 volts while retaining its level 6 calibration setting allowed the fully loaded processor to reach 4.80 GHz at its expected thermal, voltage, and wattage readings. The Maximus 9 Hero also includes some very well-devised integrated overclocking profiles, including a gamer's OC profile of 4.6 to 4.8 GHz at 1.325 volts with XMP enabled. The DDR4000 profile also worked at full stability with all four DDR4-3866 DIMMs installed, but called upon excessive voltage levels of 1.50 volts DIMM, 1.30 volts of showing sick. Unfortunately, the 5 GHz profile allowed a Prime 95 crash at 1.408 volts even before that extra voltage could push the CPU to its thermal threshold. Some CPUs overclock better than others. DRAM tuning fanatics are welcome to try their hand at optimized timing through the Maximus 9 Hero's full range of latency settings. Tuners are also welcome to choose their own power limits, thermal limits, and DRAM reference voltage settings. Full fan control is available through firmware, including manually switching between automatic detection, PWM, and voltage control modes. Tools include Asus's Flash GUI for flashing firmware, onboard storage of up to 8 firmware configuration sets, profiles, plus the ability to export these to a USB flash drive, and H-Panel overclocking hotkey functions. Anyone afraid of messing with the Maximus 9 Hero's advanced settings can press their keyboard's F7 key to switch back to ES mode. On the other hand, those who want their systems to enter ES mode by default must find that setting within the boot settings menu of Advanced Mode, 